years passed. But then there came a moment I was summoned by a terrible cry for vengeance from the forest of Hunding. His wife Sieglinda had just eloped with a guest who'd sought refuge in his house. The guest was none other than Sigmund. I am the protector of wedlock and justice must be done. I confronted Wotan to demand he punish the unfaithful couple, who, however unknowing, were also brother and sister. Wotan did not want his young hero, Siegmund, his dragon slayer, to perish. But even heroes are not above this law. And Wotan finally relented to the truth of my words, and he sent his favorite Valkyrie, Brunhilde, to the battlefield to help Hunding kill Siegmund. I know not why, but at this battlefield, Brunhilde took compassion on the couple's misfortune. She offered to let Siegmund follow her to Valhalla, his desire to turn down immortality for an ordinary life beside Sieglinde touched Brunhilde deeply. Her heart changed at that moment. Brunhilde turned away from the will of Wotan and the power of the gods, and she chose to protect human love. And the justice I cried for before the gods was left unanswered. Seeing this, Wotan intervened, and he ensured that Hunding killed Sieglinde. In panic, Brunhilde shielded Sieglinde and fled with her. I let them run. Siegmund had already paid for his horrendous actions with his life. Little did any of us know that Sieglinde was carrying Siegmund's child. But Wotan was by now in a rage with disobedient Brunhilde, and he stripped her of her immortality. So the ring's curse continues to hover over us. Sieglinde's child eventually grew, and he has dared to take the ring for himself. I fear our strength is failing, and we approach the twilight of the gods. Time is short. I need to tell. May all who find this take heed. <laughs>